that a newcomer must first fulfil. The sticker price usually exceeds the cost of the average home and the level of equipment must ooze excess and luxury. You look at it, you like it, you love it, that's all that matters. Price is secondary. The quality and the desire for it comes first. In some countries, a luxury car may be taxed if its value exceeds a certain amount. And in other countries, it may be just the size of the engine that qualifies it for membership to this elite club. Traditionally, club members from North America or Europe have lined up for the exclusivity of a Rolls-Royce or a Mercedes-Benz or at least an Italian thoroughbred. Now, the high flyers of the West are being joined by growing demands from Asian countries. High government car taxes don't stop wealthy Singaporeans from buying the proper car to fit their economic status. In this tropical paradise, the ultra-exclusive Pagani Sonda F costs in excess of 2 million US dollars. The new Rolls-Royce Phantom drophead coupe, 1.7 million, while an entry-level Porsche starts at around 300,000 US dollars. Ferrari is all about looks, the beauty of the car, the speed, the sound. For some, it may be all about style, but others simply spend a lot of money just for the sound coming from the exhaust pipe. That's what it's all about. For the rest of us, who cannot afford to buy one of these banks on wheels, becoming a member of a luxury car rental club might be the only way to actually get the ultimate drive. This British company owns a fleet worth more than 15 million US dollars and annual membership is a fraction of the cost of just one of their cars. Jim Hart has been a member for two years. I like to try the cars out for one or two days to see if I like them and then if I do I tend to use them when we go away for a longer period, you know, say a week's holiday. Driving a seriously expensive car requires excellent road handling skills and P1 put all their members through a driving training course. Once trained, a typical member will be able to enjoy the opulence of the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren or Porsche Cayenne S, complete with a set of instructions and insurance. With annual membership starting at an estimated 25,000 US, an aspiring member can expect an average of 50 to 70 days driving per year. According to CEO Michael Breen, the average member is a man in his 40s who works in the financial district.